ஆழ்வார் எம்பெருமானார் ஜியர் திருவடிகளே சரணம் ஜியர் திருவடிகளே சரணம் டுடே இஸ் தி சிக்ஸ்த் டே ஆஃப் மனவாள மாமனிகள் திருநக்ஷத்திர மகோத்சவம் இன் ஸ்ரீபெரும்பூத்தூர் வேர் ஐ எம் லிவிங் பிள்ளை லோகாச்சாரியார் திருநக்ஷத்திர மகோத்சவ செலிப்ரேஷன் போயின் சைட் வித் மனவாழ மாமனிகள் திருநக்ஷத்திர மகோத்சவம் from the fourth day of mamnigal's utsavam pille lokacharya also joined in the celebrations and they both enjoy the festivities together pille lokacharya was born in aipasi tiruvonam let us enjoy his history and glories a little bit today pille lokacharya was born as the son of vadaku trividi pillai he was born in sri rangam vadaku trividi pillai is one of the most important shishyas of nambillai after getting married vadaku tiruvidi pillai was not interested in worldly pleasures so he was not engaging with his wife in household activities vadaku tiruvidi pillai's mother comes and prays to nambillai requesting him to direct his disciple to engage in family life nambillai asks vadaku trividi pillai to engage with his wife telling him that we need good noble children to protect our sampradayam and carry our sampradayam forward accepting the orders of his acharya vadaku trividi pillai engages with his wife and by the grace of nambillai within a year vadaku trividi pillai's wife gives birth to a beautiful child remembering the grace of his acharya vadaku trividi pillai names his son as pillai lokacharya lokacharya was a special title honor given to nambillai due to his magnanimity and vadaku trividi pillai names his son after that wonderful honor or title of nambillai subsequently by the grace of shri ranganatha vadaku trividi pillai and his wife gets another child they name him alagiya manavaal perumal nayanar in memory of sri ranganatha himself these two children grew up in sri rangam just like how balarama and krishna grew up in gokulam and how sri rama and lakshmana grew up together in ayodhya they understand they learn and understand fundamentals of our sampradayam from their father himself and subsequently they also learn from nambillai and other great acharyas in sri rangam both of them have made a great sacrifice for the sake of our sampradayam 
while they were brahmacharis that is practicing celibacy after undergoing the yagyopavitam ceremony they take a vow that they will never marry and they will remain naishtika brahmachari they want to they wanted to fully focus on spreading our sampradayam protecting it nurturing it and bringing it to everyone for that purpose they sacrificed their own joys and pleasures and fully focused on bhagavad vishayam of these two great brothers let us see pille lokacharyas charitram now mamunigal explains that pille lokacharya is a parama karunika which means most merciful person the reason for that is pillaj lokacharya documented all the confidential principles which have been received through the acharya parampara in a oral tradition until then select few were fortunate to hear the confidential principles from the acharyas but since they were not documented in paper it was not they were not available freely for everyone out of his great compassion pille lokacharya reveals the confidential principles which came down in the oral tradition through his wonderful granthams one interesting aspect in pille lokacharya's life is also that he is an incarnation of kanchipuram deva perumal vardraja perumal himself this is highlighted in the introduction section of sri vasana bhushanam which is one of the most important and valuable works of pillalokacharya himself the introduction was given by manavala mamunigal and manavala mamunigal highlights a beautiful incident from the life of pillalokacharya which proves this point there was a sri vaishnava named manapakath nambi he was hearing all the important sampradayam principles from deva perumal vardhraj bhagwan himself but suddenly deva perumal stops his instructions and asks manapakat nambi to go to sri rangam and tells him that he himself will teach them in sri rangam manapakat nambi becomes puzzled but yet he follows the orders of bhagwan he goes to sri rangam one day he was at kataragiya singer sanadi which is in the outskirts of sri rangam where he observes that pille lokacharya an acharya the acharya who is the presiding acharya in sri rangam was giving lectures to his confidential disciples being new to the place he hides in the side and listens to what pille lokacharya is explaining to his amazement it is the continuation of what 
Deva Permal was explaining. He comes out of the hiding, goes to Pille Lokacharya, falls flat at his feet, divine feet, and asks Pille Lokacharya, Are you him? In his mind, he thinks that he is Deva Permal himself. And Pille Lokacharya replies, What should be done? Agreeing to his proposition. Thus, from this incident, we can see that Pille Lokacharya is Deva Pramad himself. Subsequently, Manatpakatanandi becomes an ardent disciple of Pille Lokacharya, hears all the important principles from him and continues to serve him. As we have seen, Pilla Lokacharya, out of his great mercy, blesses us with 18 important Rahasya Granthams. They are popularly known as Ashtadasa Rahasyams. There have been few other Granthams which were composed, authored by Pilla Lokacharya, which have been found later, but these 18 Granthams are the main ones which are studied eagerly by everyone. Among these 18 Granthams, there are many Rahasya Granthams which are focused on Rahasya Trayam, which is important for Sri Vaishnavas. There are Granthams which are focused on Tattva Trayam and there are Granthams which are focused on our Sampradayam principles. Among all of these, three Granthams stand out greatly. Mamukshupadi, Tattvatrayam and Sri Vachana Bhushanam. These three Granthams give out the essence of our Sampradayam and they must be studied by everyone. The way he has compiled these Granthams makes it very easy for everyone to study them and understand them. These Granthams have to be studied under the guidance of learned mentors, Acharyas, rather than being studied on one's own. These are called Kalakshepa Granthams, which are to be heard from those who have already heard these from elders. Beyond Pramana Rakshanam, that is protecting and nurturing the literature, Granthams, Pillalokacharya was also involved greatly in protecting Prameyam, which is Bhagavan himself. Nambilai's time, times in Sri Rangam was said to be very peaceful and very blissful because there were very little disturbances. But subsequent to Nambilai's times, during Pulalokacharya's time, the Mughal invasion happens. During that time, Pillalokacharya, who was the presiding Acharya in Sri Rangam, ensured that Periya Perumal, the Mula deity, was protected properly by raising a stone wall in front of him and then with the help of his own disciples and a few Kankariyaparas from the temple, he ensures that the Nambiramal Utsavar deity was carried to safety. He travels through difficult route in the forests and goes through lots of trouble during the travels. 
they were even attacked by robbers but eventually pillalokacharya gives them good instructions and reform them as well finally they reached a place called jyotishkudi near madurai by that time pillalokacharya due to his old age was unable to withstand the pressures and he decides to ascend to paramapadam he instructs all his disciples who were there to care for nambermal and he also requests his disciples to bring tirumalai alvar is one of his disciples into the acharya peetam and groom him to be the next acharya thus he showers his compassion towards everyone by both protecting the pramanam and nurturing it and presenting it to everyone in very simple manner and also protecting the prameyam bhagavan himself during desperate times let us meditate upon pillalokacharya's divine feet alvar emberumanar gr tiruvadigale sharanam gr tiruvadigale sharanam please download our koil k o y i l app from google play store or apple app store to listen to or download upanyasams like these our website portal is k o y i l .org koil .org